God, this is definitely the longest section. I am two and a half hours in. <laughs> well, I hope you guys enjoy these videos after your one hour long video of crap. Uh, I say crap. I didn't like it. I didn't. I didn't like the settlement thing. I don't know. I talk too much. That's that's one of my that's one of my things. <laughs> I feel like when I talk too much, I just, I just I feel like I'm not good at articulating myself. So I just talk really fast and hope people understand me. <laughs> Alright, I take more of this shit, but I just I need to save space in case we get some more good weapons or something. How you doing in there, Valentine? Feeling hungry? Want it? Keep talking, meathead. It'll give Skinny Malone more time to think about how he's gonna bump you off. Don't give me that crap, Valentine. You know nothing, you got nothing. Really? I saw him writing your name down in that black book of his. Lousy cheating card shark, I think were his exact words. Then he struck the name across three times. Three strikes? In the black book? But I never... Oh no. I, I, I gotta smooth this over fast. Alright. Fuck you, Dino. And he did. All right, I need to remember to collect the ash pile. All right, don't doesn't look like there's anybody around here, but I'm still going to be a snicker boy. Not sure if we were supposed to kill him, but I did. Not my problem. We just oh overseas passport. Nope, we definitely needed that, and I'll take everything. Cool. All right, hey. what's up, Nick? What? What the fuck? He... Alright, let's get this open, but he looks weird. No, take number... Your number is 998. Please wait until your number is called and the overseer will be with you. Have a nice day. That's funny. Alright. Manual override. Let's do this. Okay, should be good. Holy shit. My knight in shining armor. What the fuck? Is, why does he come all this way? Risk life and limb for an old private eye. Yeah, I hate to be that guy, but uh. Whoa. What? What are you? Told you, I'm a detective. Look, I know the skin and the metal parts ain't comforting, but it's not important right now. The only thing that matters is why you went to all this trouble to cut me loose. Ugh. <sighs> My son, Sean, is missing. He was kidnapped. But I don't know who took him or where they went. My character has weird lips too, thinking about it. Came to the right man, not the right place. I've been cooped up in here for weeks. Turns out the runaway daughter I came here to find wasn't kidnapped. She's Skinny Malone's new flame. And she's got a mean streak. Anyway, you got troubles, and I'm glad to help. But now ain't the time. Let's blow this joint. Then we'll talk. Yeah, you... Ugh. But we got a bobblehead here. The there speech bobblehead. All vendors permanently have a hundred more caps for bartering. That is definitely good. Ooh, hollow tapes here. Crew here used to be small All right, I'll read these interview tapes later. Just want to read this real quick. Welcome, employees. Greetings, Overseer. I hope this message finds you well and you move on to your new position. Oh, you, and your new position has been easy transition. Your appointment as Overseer came with highly uh, high recommendations from our interviewers, and we hope you will fit. Uh, you will be the perfect fit that everyone believes you to be. Uh, please do not be nervous, as we have chosen you based on your natural qualities, decision-making skills, and unique personality. We believe that your personal inmate abilities as a leader. Uh, that will bring this vault into the new world, uh, nuclear world it creates. So don't worry, just go with your gut and everything will work perfectly. That sounds like a... Wow, what a great set of fucking options to choose from. Anyway, I will definitely read those tapes later. As long as there's anything else here. Okay, let's go. Sorry, dude. Sorry, Nick. But yeah, as you can tell, he's, uh... He's not human. But he's not just your old-fashioned robot. 
little bit of a spoiler, but he is a synth. He will tell you right after this. But yep, he. I hear some of them coming. Oh. There they are. How do you want to play this? Your job is to check on the prisoner. Why does that take so fucking long, huh? Hey, Dino, quit razzing that detective and get down here. Where the heck is he? Something out uh, thanks, Nick. Now you're dead. Oh, <laughs> that was not a person. I mean, come on, you can't tell me the light didn't look kind of like him. Where the fuck is this other guy at? Where the fuck even is this guy? I can't even see him. Wouldn't want to be in your shoes. Oh, there he is. Come on. Flank him. Alright. Piper, why did you follow me? Stay over there. Flank him. That, that was the whole point of this thing. Alright. Doesn't look like we got anything useful. Actually, get some water. Yeah, let's, let's save a stim pack for once, cause uh. Blue, come on. Let me carry something before you cripple yourself. All right, I need to drop some more shit. I want my outfits, so I'm dropping the Tommy guns. I don't really need them all. God, they weigh a lot too. No fucking point in having them. All right. Here we go. It's like I needed one more. Here we go. Cool. Hard and loud, huh? Well, gets the job done. Too bad for whoever cleans up the floors. Hey, not my problem. The doors on the fritz. Let me see if I can get it open. Almost got. It. There we are. God, that hand is freaky. A lot easier to do when the lock isn't on the other side. Yeah, I guess. And this was the other end of that, as we saw earlier. Really a bat. I have terrible aim. Alright, going for the shotgun now. No, shotgun. There you go. I do find it funny that they're just like, ah, oh, it's a rat. Definitely not a rat, boys. Oh wait, I was about to say, like, I haven't seen one of these fucking magazines in a while. Uh, you've collected an issue of Astounding Awesome Tales, gained five action points. Ooh, that's nice. Damn it, I thought that was a... A full bottle of Nuka-Cola. Nick! What the fuck were you doing? How the fuck are you surviving this? Appreciate that, Nick. Well, there's so many things we can go inside of. Okay, never mind. I guess we can't. Oh, you're not a. All right. <laughs> I love it when we get caught reloading in the thing. He's like, wait, wait, wait! I gotta, gotta unload. I'm gonna have so many. Oh, Nick! Nick! Did you? <laughs> Bethesda, what the fuck, man? I gotta get out of here. You came to the right guy at the wrong time. Boy, were you fucking right, you fuck. Just walk out on me like an asshole. Wait, right, nope. We're back where we were before. Awesome, awesome. More stairs? Don't really know what to tell you, Nick. They were kind of trying to get away from the radiation, so you have to go really far down. That could have been bad. That could have been terrible. Definitely need to get my aid up. There you go. Come on. I like how Nick's, Nick's good at just fucking taking it. Alright. I 
gotta grab this. I gotta grab their stuff without grabbing their uh, outfits. All right, cool. I don't mean to be saving so much. Nice. Ooh. Alright, let's read this first since we're here. Let's see. Please remind residents to line up in an orderly fashion, change into the vault suits immediately, save all questions for orientation. Uh, names. Let's see what we got here. Lena family, Sean, wife, Martha, sons, John, and Michelle. Okay, just got a bunch of names here then. That's two Michaels in here so far. Three if you count me. Todd Gates, Bachelor. Oh, great. Okay, interesting. All right, it's just the names of them, so no, I'm not gonna read them out individually. No point. I got it, but I hear big fat footsteps on the other side. Once we step through this door, get ready for anything. All right, let's see. What do I want? We'll do the Tommy gun. We'll finish this off like gangsters. Alright, let's do it. Well then, today has definitely been eventful. Well, at least Nick's very useful, being a uh, robot. Makes it easier for him to hack into shit. What are you That's doing? You're coming to my house? Shoot up my guys? You have any idea how much this is going to set me back? I wouldn't be here if it weren't for your two-timing dame, Skinny. You ought to tell her to write home more often. Oh, poor little Valentine. A shame you got beat up by a girl. I'll just run back home to daddy, shall I? Should have left that alone, Nikki. This ain't the old neighborhood. In this vault, I'm king of the castle, you hear me? And I ain't letting some private dick shut us down now that I finally got <laughs> <to> think <laughs> dick. I told you we should have just killed him. But then you had to get all sentimental. All that stupid crap about the old times. Dala, I'm handling this. Skinny Malone's always got things under control. Oh, yeah? Then what's this guy doing here, huh? Valentine must have brought him here to rub us all out. That wasn't the plan originally, but hey, tempting. Hey, I'm the one in charge here. You got something to say? <laughs> oh, Piper, fuck say off. To me. Let's see. You and Nick know each other? <laughs> it's troublemaker here. Used to be a real headache back in the day. Before we got kicked out of the old neighborhood. <laughs> Must have done this dance a hundred times. Enemies are kind of the closest thing you get to friends in these parts. Now quit stalling. You're gonna talk? Talk. I think my funniest thing was uh, when I first did this is that I, I was able to convince uh, them. It was in red and I was able to convince them to not attend it peacefully. Uh, let's save Darla's the problem. Let's see if that has anything unique. Look at yourself. Darla's playing you for a sap. You're better than this. You're better than her. No one tells Skinny Malone how to run his affairs. Damn it. I've had enough of this. Time for the hard goodbye. <laughs> Alrighty then. Well, let's get rid of the problem. Well, sad it had to end that way. I'm over here, and they can still hit me, which is bullshit. Oh, God damn it! Alright. Not how I wanted this to go. There I go. Canned dog food. My favorite. Oh my fucking god. They're tearing my ass up. Alright. Oh, are we good? I think we got him. Nope. Hey skinny, what's up? Oh. Come on. What the fuck you scared about, huh? Huh? You know, for being called skinny, you're quite a big target. You know, that looks much less cool with that small gun. <laughs> I 
<laughs> That's funny. Hey, I tried. Well, at least the case is closed. Let's get out of here. There's a service ladder that should take us right to the surface. Wait, no, Nick. No. All right. Got to find more shit to drop. Actually, I probably could use some health. So let's drink some bottles of stuff. Not what I wanted to do. Damn it. <laughs> you know, these sub machine guns are still pretty good, though. Actually, I don't know what their value per weight is. Let's see. So for the value per weight is around 8, some of them are 10. Value per weight is actually better for the 10 millimeters. Interesting, okay. Uh, I'll keep... Let's see which one of these is better. I'll keep, I'll keep both of those, why not? So I was about to say, I might pick up those... I dropped a bunch of 10 millimeters, but fuck it. I'll go like this. And Nick ran away, so now we have to follow him. I think I'll cut till until we get to the front, so I will see you guys then. Alrighty then. We are back at the top, folks. It's time to talk to Nick, and then definitely an end for today's episode. I decided to continue on uh, around the two-hour mark, and now we are almost at the three-hour mark. So, yep, I have a lot of episodes for you guys, which I'm perfectly fine with. I, I honestly felt like... I still felt like I wanted to record, so that's all that matters. I just don't want to be like that, uh, I, I, I'm just doing this because I need to get this out of the way. Like, I don't want to do that shit. That's annoying. I mean, I love making videos, and... Really, the only hard part is finding the right time to do it. I love my bird cilantro, but I wish he wouldn't squeak as much. Like, if he were to just hang out, I wouldn't mind recording with him, like, you know. Sometimes he'll hang out inside of my jacket, so that's always fun. I mean, a squeak now again wouldn't be fine, but... <laughs> he, he's so cute. He'll, he'll, he tries to have conversation, so he'll be like... <laughs> like, I'm not even kidding, he'll do that. And he's trying to mimic a conversation with me, and it's really cute. But I have to put him up for recording stuff. I thought about doing a series where I don't care about uh, that so I can record with him with me. Where the fuck did Nick go? Did he just head home? I thought he was doing other stuff. Ugh, alright. Nick, where did you go? Follow Nick Valentine. I'm not following him through all this shit because we're just going to get into fights and shit. So we're just going to fast travel to Diamond City. Uh, by the way, if I remember correctly, um, just because I'm going to bring this up, you can't wait at every location now. In uh, Fallout 3 in New Vegas, you could just wait whenever you wanted to. You cannot do that in this game. Get the latest issue. Oh, maybe they do have uh, other shit. I guess I can read this while we wait. Hey, pal. Hey, mister. That interview you did with Piper is really selling. Here's your free copy. Oh, interesting. I will... Oh, no, I have the tapes to play as well. Ugh. I have a lot to do. Okay. Uh, We have to wait for Nick to get back anyway. Please don't tell me he's, like, just fucking sitting over there. I hope not. Anyway, uh... Let me get this stuff right out of the way. So... You know what? Actually, I'll wait first. We'll see if Nick follows. But you have to sit in a chair to wait. Wait, what? Oh. I didn't mean to take that. From the paper. Yep, I'm the vault dweller, dweller. But this is how we have to wait now, without sleeping. Which I kind of find dumb. Is Nick still here? No, he waited out there. God damn it, Nick. Alright. Let's go back to the Boston Common and find him. I thought, what I thought he was going to do, was he was going to wait. But he decided not to. He decided to be a little dick. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's just funny considering, uh... Dick was used for a lot of uh, words back in the day. Same thing with the word boner, which I find fucking hilarious. I think there's an old uh, Batman comic book where it says, uh, Batman has boner? I think there's also a one for Marvel Comics, which is, uh... What is it? Iron Man telling Batman that he has a, uh... Ooh, a torn letter. What's that? I will read the torn letter. By the way, you know that whole Vault Dweller thing and all that stuff? Just imagine 
you have to go digging for it in all this stuff. You don't have the hollow tapes are here, the key rings are here, the magazines are here. Yeah, wouldn't that suck? Anyway, torn letter. Just curious for now, you know how much I miss you, but it's too dangerous if you stay in Diamond City. At least I know you're safe. If your mind's really made up, then be careful. Travel at night. Stick to the river, and whatever you do, don't go to the common. Well then, that fucked up. Anyway, let's go find Nick, because he decided to get lost out in the fucking wild. Hey Nick, you got a better place to, to go? And of course he's behind a fucking wall. Fuck off, Nick. Hey Nick, why couldn't you just wait right outside? Would it have been that fucking difficult? Hey! Hey! Ah, look at that Commonwealth sky. Never thought anything so naturally ominous could end up looking so inviting. Thanks for getting me out. How did you know where to find me, anyway? Not many people knew where I went. Just... what are you, Nick? You really don't know? I'm a synth. Synthetic man. All the parts, minus a few red blood cells. I got built, I got old, I got tossed. Then I opened up that little agency in Diamond City, and turns out people have plenty of problems to solve. Now, you mentioned something about your son, Sean, and how he went missing. I want you to come to my office in Diamond City. Give me all the details. Besides, I think you've earned a chance to sit down and clear your head. Fuck yeah. Let's see. Oh yeah, you can end up going here without knowing about Diamond City. Uh, yeah. I'll meet you there. See you in Diamond City. Yeah, I think if you say if you follow him, um, something different happens. But I don't want to do that. But anyway, we solved the unlikely Valentine. Hell yeah. That really fucking annoys me. That, uh... <laughs> Alright, let's see. Well, I did that with Nick, so he's not there anymore. So yeah, the next thing for the main story is getting a clue, but I do not care for that yet. I have some stuff to read, and then I also have some stuff to drop off. I have to listen to those holotapes, and then that is going to be it. So I just, I wanted to get that out of the way first, so you guys can just end of the episode for that. You guys can enjoy the rest of me reading the, the Vault Dweller stuff and also the holotapes. So yeah, wait for a second. We're going to do that here. But anyway, no, nah, you know, I'll end the episode here and then I will have the rest of it go off. So yeah, I do hope you guys have enjoyed this session of Fallout 4, Sarcastic Jerk Edition. Definitely a lot of sarcasm, not a lot of jerkness. Um, I don't know, I after I killed everybody, I figured maybe it would have been a good idea to like just take a step back and retry the uh, talking option to see maybe we could get him to leave the girl because that kind of sounds like something a jerk would do. But, you know, we'll, we'll go with the killing everybody just so I have the tuxedo for future reference. So, but anyway, uh, let's read the uh, vault stuff. So yeah, but anyway, I do hope you guys enjoyed. I will catch you guys next time. This is Mike June in a second. Signing out. So, listen to the rest if you want to listen to it. Nothing, nothing important here besides basic stuff. Anyway, time to read these notes. How long is this? All right, View from the Vault, Part 1 by Piper Wright. Whenever I take a walk through Diamond City, there are so many things people... Wait, how did she write this? She literally came right with us to go help out Nick. Whenever I take a walk through Diamond City, there are so many things people tell me to be grateful for. Purified water, working lights, electricity, security. True, what we have would have been unthinkable even a few decades ago. But it's easy to forget that even after all that progress we made, we're still living in the shadow of a world that was. A world before the threat of radiation, before the super mutants and the feral ghouls and the synths. So, as fortune often has it, I cross paths with Mike. Vault Dweller, a person who is experiencing the Commonwealth for the first time. But... What would his fresh set of eyes say about how far we've come? In Diamond City, the great green jewel, we've always claimed it to be. Before we begin to answer that question, we have to know Mike. Where does he come from? Begin our interview. Oh, you know what? This is, um, it's three because she gave us three choices to answer. He comes from, uh, for our interview, joking about his time in the vault. It was just me and a thousand guinea pigs. They turned carnivorous. Of course, this reporter knows that life behind the sealed doors of a vault Tech facility is actually supposed to be a bastion of the old world, a preservation of life before the bombs. Okay, that's really annoying that's all separated in different parts, but fuck it, whatever. Hey, at least we got the bobblehead. Alright, next one. Continue from part one. So what does Mike have to say about seeing Diamond City for the first time? You're all living in a rusty shack, killing each other, and my god, the smell. Painful words. So much of a civilization was lost when the bombs fell, and we have rebuilt without the comfort and security of the old vaults. However arrogant and privileged, 
Uh, Privileged Mike's statement seems to have remembered where he came from and what it, uh, what we must uh, look to him. Perhaps all the anger is really just to cover up what he's lost. You see, Mike has a son, Sean, and even though they were in the relatively safe uh, safety of the vault, someone broke in and took Sean from his parents. And that parent is now risking everything, wandering through the strange and unfriendly world of ours, in order to save Sean from his kidnappers. We all know the rumors and whispers that surround every missing person in Diamond City, the guilty looks we pass to mourning family members as we think the wall that this time it wasn't us. You can end up dead in the Commonwealth for a million reasons. Why spend our time worrying about kidnapping? Why indeed. Continued in part three. It is easy for us to be cynical about the missing. We have spent so long knowing the Institute is out there, but understanding so little about them. They're not the only ones responsible for kidnappings, but the fact that they sometimes are and the fact that we've been so powerless to stop them when they do causes us to treat all victims of kidnapping as if they're a lost cause, but the people left behind, the loved ones, friends, and neighbors who have never seen the faces of those taken from them again, they do not have the luxury of being able to just look away. They have to carry the lost with them, even if everyone else tells them to move on and forget. I asked Mike to make a statement to Diamond City to give us an outsider's perspective on what it means to lose a loved one and how he feels, maybe in some way. That's how we all should feel. Maybe we've, for, uh, maybe we've forgotten the right. Human response to these tragedies are, find who's responsible and make them pay, he said. Simple as that. And that is the end. I don't know, I think it's all fake. All right, now time for the hollow tape options. There were three, hopefully there weren't more. If they are, then, well, sorry. channels, assuming neither of their requests were against the law, of course. This is, of course, assuming that the conflict had already gone through all the other members of the Vault's Residence Council that I plan on organizing. Vault Residence Council, you say? Yes, of course. People need government. They yearn for it. I think it's a civic duty of every red-blooded American patriot to serve the Yes, I think Seems we have to be growing well. We yeah, thank oh, you. Already? Hey, well, wait yes, there. I don't look forward to hearing from you. Please make sure to fill out your non-disclosure agreement on your way out. Sorry, I'm trying to do shit, but I want you guys to be able to read it if possible. All right. Tw interview number 21. This is Vault Tech interview number 21 for the position of overseer for Vault 114. Interview subject Kimberly Weiss. Hello, Mrs. Weiss. How do you do? And may I just say what an honor it is to even be considered for the position of overseer. Ever since I was a little girl in mock government, I dreamed that one day I would have the opportunity to lead a community to greatness. My teachers all told me I had leadership potential, and without my guidance as student council vice president, those bake sales surely would have failed. Just the thought of being able to organize and run this small group, to show them a better way, to lead them to a future so bright that they... My goodness. Looks like we're out of time. <laughs> well, what? We just started. Yes, yes. Thank you. If you could just send the next candidate in as you leave. Oh, uh, of course. Did I mention I was head of my debate team? I'm sure you did. Thank you. Well, she is not very happy about that. I need to remember to press the spacebar button for this. All right, last one, folks. I'm guessing this is the one. This is Vault Tech interview number 87 for the position of overseer for Vault 114. The candidate has refused to give his real name and has only provided the name Soup can Harry? That's right. I ain't telling you nothing. My name is the name I call myself, not the rank and number the government brands on me. No, sir. 
fascinating, Mr. Um, Soupcan. Would you mind telling me why you're distrustful of the government? I've seen what they do. Come up the works with red tape and bureaucracy, take every hard-earned cent and use it to fund their Illuminati, Freemason sex parties. I'm a free man. I should be able to live as I see fit. My taxes pay for them streets and alleys and dumpsters. I'll sleep where I want. Sir, according to this, you haven't paid taxes in <laughs> many years. I seen the back of them Abraxo boxes. Not for consumption? Don't you tell me what to do. I'll eat what I want. Sir, you may just be the perfect candidate. How would you like to be the new overseer for Vault 114? I ain't wearing no goddamn tie or pants. All right, that was pretty funny. All right, looks like there was something out there, but I don't got no idea what it was. Um, I do want to laugh though. Um, I was literally, I didn't even notice the Yao Guai from the from my last session until I was editing it, and I was like, oh, 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 <laughs> that could have been fucking terrible. I don't think I would have been able to survive that. Alrighty then, so yeah, I'm gonna drop off all of my junk now and do all that stuff. So yeah, I already kind of said the goodbye, but I do hope you guys enjoyed the extra content on the end there. Um, I've thought about, like, doing some of the readings for the vault. Like, computers, like, obviously reading them at the time, but then cutting them out and then putting them into, uh, at the end of the videos. I don't know if I'm necessarily down for that. I'd rather do them during the time period because we're in the vault, we're in the thing, and then we want to do them, but... Um, I don't mind doing stuff like that, especially when, uh, I, I'm definitely gonna do, be doing these ones on the end when I have a bunch of shit. Like, alright, let's just get this out of the way and get it done so I can finish off this, uh, finish off this session, so, and then we can do that at the end so you guys can enjoy. But anyway, I already said this, but hope you guys enjoy. Catch you guys next time. Later, guys.